Okay, I want to talk about this amp a while. This is a, a Randall uh, George Wench winch box. And although it doesn't have the George Wench logo on the front, as the ones that you will see do, do have, uh, it's it's got the current modules in. It's got a uh, what has it got in there? Good question. It's got uh, a Brahma. It's got a Grail, and it's got a Mister Scary module. So the thing about this amp is you can make this amp into what you want. I have uh, a number of these uh, preamps that you can slide in and out. When I bought this amp, it came with three of the wrong modules. And there's a bit of a story behind the amp, which I'll probably cover as we chat. But let me show you. We just take these out very simply. It's all over the internet on how you do this. But you just unscrew them like so. Slide it out. And what you've got is a, a hole for a new preamp. So you can change the tone of this amp absolutely in seconds. And it's good to just screw them back in. Some of the things I don't like about this amp, well not so much the amp, but the modules. On the Mr. Scary module you can see it's all good, you've got, uh, the problem is you've got some skulls there for <laughs> for control knobs, a uh, bit painful that is. If you look at the middle module there, the, the, the grail module, uh, those knobs on there are very very reminiscent of the angle and they have the same problem uh, as the angle and that is you can't read them. Uh, you've got to get really close uh, and that's that's trouble. If you look at the white, sort of creamy white uh, uh, module at the end there, uh, that's called a Brahma. That's a great, uh, that's a really great sound. And if you notice with the Brahma it's got chicken heads on there so you can see the settings nice and easy and things like that. But the best thing about that is it's got a great sound. The worst thing about it, well, yeah, well it's cream. Fancy coming up with that? Take a look at that amp. Look how bad that stands out. That's awful. That's a marketing nightmare. No matter what they say. It's not good to have in your amp in that colour. And frankly, if I didn't want to keep the value of it, the first thing I'd do is paint that and change the knobs. But there you go. Looking at the amp on the right hand side, what you've got is you've got an effects look volume, you've got presence. And once again, you've got those old favourite things. Uh, you've got a master but you've also got a density and density is a bit like the resonance on the Marshall as was and the resonance on the Spawn that I didn't particularly talk about uh, and it's also a little bit like some of the controls that you've got on the angle so overall very interesting stuff <clears throat> let me talk a bit about this head this head was actually uh, a George Lynch prototype how do I know that well because this this head was shipped to the UK for George Lynch to play one night and he played this one night in uh, 2006 in the UK and he bought his own modules which is a bit weird but that's what he did plugged those modules in did the gig so to speak uh, in, a, in a, a music store in England and then took his modules out signed the amp on the top you can't see it from here but it's up there and he he signed the cab as well on the back which is all very useful really I guess but it doesn't actually look much like a winch box except for the the vinyl that's on there. Taking a look at that cap uh, again it should have the the sort of logo on the front for the winch box which it doesn't have because that also was a prototype that came along with the amp. Uh, this particular one had uh, G12s in it, uh, Celestian G12s you know the greenback things. That isn't what this amp was sold with but the prototype actually had those in it because the the uh, basically the uh, the speakers that should be in there weren't in production, so he used Celestians. Fancy that. So just finishing off with this amp, uh, you, the modules are all changeable. It's a hundred watt amp. Uh, if I remember right, you can switch it down to fifty. Well, if you can't, you just take the two end tubes out, don't you? Uh, you've got the usual loops in it and all that stuff. But the speaker cab uh, actually now has the Super V uh, speakers in there, which were really designed around Fane's, uh, Fane speakers, because that's what George Lynch likes, apparently. Uh, they have a, a, a two-inch coil, which makes the speakers sound a little bit different than most. And if you notice the cab, uh, let me just move that down a bit. You can see the cab 
actually has quite a depth to it. Uh, and that depth is reflected in the sound, uh, particularly from this amp. If I was to plug in some other amp, into the, even into this cab, uh, I think you'll find it still be very, very bottomy. A bit like an angle cab, uh, but the angle cab is a bit woolly. Uh, that's how I'd describe it. Anyway, over, over and all, this amp uh, is quite a good amp. Uh, it's a little bit specialised because you've got to find the modules that suit you. Uh, I have the Lynch ones in because this was a Lynch prototype amp. And uh, that's one of the things that makes it worth money. There you go.